नमस्कार किसान भाइयों स्वागत है आपका आपकी पसंदीदा फसल क्रांति यूट्यूब चैनल में कृषि की वीडियो देखने के लिए और कृषि की जानकारी के लिए आज ही हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन दबाना ना भूलें ताकि आपको समय पर कृषि से संबंधित जानकारी मिलती रहे किसान साथियों नमस्कार मैं हूं मिरान आपके साथ आप देख रहे हैं फसल क्रांति आपका जानो पहचाना मीडिया हाउस जो समय समय पर कृषि संबंधित नई नई तकनीक और जानकारी आप तक पहुंचाने की कोशिश करता है प्रयास करता है कि आपको हमेशा नई तकनीकों से जोड़ा जाए आज जो हम चर्चा करेंगे जो भारत सरकार है और और जो प्राइवेट इंडस्ट्री है वो भी बायो प्रोडक्ट्स पर काम कर रही है कहीं ना कहीं जो हमारे बायो प्रोडक्ट्स हैं उनको प्रमोट करने की प्रयास कर रही है तो क्या है किस तरीके से कार्य होता है उसके लिए एक ग्लोबल रिकोगनाइज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है ग्लोबल बायो एग लिंकेजेस जैसा कि नाम से ही प्रतीत है कि कहीं ना कहीं ये ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पूरी जो बायो इंडस्ट्री है इस वर्ल्ड की संसार की उसको एक जगह इकट्ठा करने का एक जगह लिंकेजेस करने का काम करती है उसके ग्लोबल सीईओ रोजर त्रिपाठी जी हमारे साथ हैं आज के हमारे खास मेहमान हैं उनसे जानेंगे क्या इस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का उद्देश्य है और कैसे शुरुआत हुई सर आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है फसल क्रांति में Thank you, Imran. Um, I'm also very pleased to be with you today. As I said uh, earlier, when we were doing our informal chat, it was my uh, good luck that this time when I came to India, it was the time of the 15th of August, and coincidentally, it was the 75th anniversary of our independence. So I want to congratulate all our uh, Indian population and our Indian fellows. That uh, it is really very fortunate for me to be here, and we should all make sure that next time it doesn't take 75 years to get this progress what we received. It should be next 25 years. So thank you for having me here. So let me ask you the first question with you. What was the thing inspired you to start this global bio ag linkages? What was the concept behind this? The concept, as the name says, global bio ag linkages. my goal was after working in the industry for more than 35 years globally in 45 countries as you know i am a american citizen australian citizen i have lived in singapore and uh, canada now i live in the us in utah after working everywhere i realized that what is missing in our bio ag is adoption and for adoption we need linkages so i thought why not i fill this gap and try to make something which can be global bio ag linkages linking all the bio ag like minded people globally that was the main purpose of forming global bio ag linkages as uh, you mentioned in your words uh, global bio ag linkages the name says to connect all the bio uh, industry from around the world so uh, if i talk about the indian industry uh, what do you think what is the role of uh, bio products i mean bio uh, industry in indian agriculture developments according to you imran um, i don't know if you understand my full business about global bio ag linkages global bio ag linkages while we are helping different bio ag businesses globally linking them in the merger acquisition in go to market in strategic audit as well as we have two major developments in global bio ag linkages one is our bio ag world congress and we also have a very comprehensive magazine called bio ag world digest the reason we started these two initiatives the event and the magazine exactly for the purpose what you just said and in the last edition we did this for india and i said in my editorial that india will be or can be the hub of the bio ag industry not only from the innovation point of view but also from the consumption point of view because the farmers here are becoming much aware than a lot of countries and i also heard in the speech of the prime minister he mentioned about making the products more sustainable more bio based so i think india is at the juncture where they can be at the center stage of sustainable agriculture India can be one of the biggest market but also can be one of the biggest innovation hub being a global organization you are organizing a global event also called uh, bio ag world congress would you like to highlight something about this uh, event to promote the global uh, i mean global bio agriculture products and the uh, activities dear imran i mean you have understood one thing about me i am very passionate about this industry 
my number one objective is that we have to bring the whole bioag community together while we are bringing the whole bioag community together just by saying that we have to bring the bioag community together it's not going to help us and that's the reason we started bioag world congress i am not an event person i have never been an editorial guy but the reason i started the event and the magazine because i want to make this bioag community come together through this event and the magazine while we do that in this bioag world congress as an independent, I'm creating a brand where it is by the industry for the industry event. It's not by an event company where you put an agenda together, you highlight some speakers and you start selling. No, we don't do that. We try to engage the whole industry from day one when we launch the event till we conclude the event. And you must have felt in the last few events that everyone who is coming to the event or participating in the event, they feel and act as if their event. So my goal through the magazine, BioAg World Digest and the Congress is to bring the whole BioAg community together globally to discuss innovation, to discuss and harmonize regulation, which is ever changing and very challenging. And at the same time, our goal is also to discuss what is the future course of action, how we can walk the talk. And that's where I see my role. That's great, sir. Uh, I would like to congratulate you for this initiative. So, uh, my next question uh, to you: uh, that uh, you spent more than three decades uh, in ag global agriculture industry. So, what do you think? What is the future, according to you? What is the future of uh, bioproducts? Because uh, uh, not in India, even globally, uh, uh, bioproducts uh, recognized by uh, many states. It's so the future of bio uh, products or bioag industry is very strong. In fact, it's almost a must. We have really been very good in our food security and we flogged a lot of chemicals, which was necessary at that time, but maybe flogged it too much. And because of that, we have impacted our soils and we have impacted our water and we have impacted our environment. So now we are trying to change our habits and in changing the, those habits, now we are getting more into regenerative agriculture, we are getting more into the bioproducts. Without that, there is no solution. We need to go into sustainable agriculture. What I like about India is that the awareness of the sustainable agriculture and bioproducts is much more than other countries, which is commendable. One thing I do feel that if this industry has to grow faster, the adaptability and the awareness has to be quicker. The second thing is that selfish profiteering has to be stopped. Number of people in the name of bio, in fact bio has become a bad word in the, word in the industry because in the name of bio a lot of uh, people are bringing not so good products. And that's another reason why I'm a big supporter of science-based bio products and that's what's happening across the globe. And I personally feel that other than the Europe and the, the US, and now followed by Brazil, India, and China, it's going to be the next decade will belong to bioag products. The only thing we have to be careful is, number one, fast adoption, science-based products. So my last question to you, uh, this is a myth among the farmers about the bioproducts, and not only in bioproducts, if you talk about the organic products so farmer uh, thought that uh, if they will use the bioproducts and the organic products in agriculture solution so they will lose the production uh, capacities in the land so uh, what do you think on this i mean is it according to you it is correct or what can it this uh, the farmers are not wrong one thing uh, we all should know that our farmers are very knowledgeable never underestimate our farmers knowledge when they said what they said about bio was true. Our bio products were still evolving. And in this evolution process, there were some products which were brought to the market too quickly. They didn't have a good shelf life. They were not as good as uh, we were supposed to bring to the market. Therefore, the yield and the ROI was not as good as it could be for the farmers. So they started making the perception that the bio products don't work as good as chemical products, which partly was true. However, my dear farmers, I can tell you today from my global knowledge, that is not true. 
there are very good science based bio products which you should go for and start reducing the use of chemicals try to replace with science based good bio products you can depend and trust those for sure so uh, ipm i mean this integrated pest management uh, system can be the solution for that uh, or anything else would you like to suggest to farmers imran i feel that uh, you should be working with me in my organization every single question you asked it seems like you come from the same university as me because uh, that is something very important which uh, you brought up and i forgot to bring it earlier some people say that chemistry is bad or chemicals are bad some people say that organic is the only way i always say that either extremes are not good if you go all organic it's not good for food security if you go all chemicals it's not good for food safety so i always say to people it has to be inclusive approach not exclusion approach and that's why i if you see my interviews in last 10 years i always say we have to support integrated sustainable crop solutions that means try to use as many bioag products from seed soil to the harvest and then mix with safe chemical products whenever you don't have a bio products as a replacement so yes integrated pest management i have now graduated it to integrated crop management because we are not talking about only pest management we are talking about nutrition management we are talking about soil health we are talking about plant health that's why i always say integrated sustainable crop solution is the way to go by choosing as many bio products as possible but go for science based don't be fooled by snake oil products thank you so much thank you so much sir being with us uh, at the end i will request you uh, please convey a message to our global farming community for their developments for the economic developments what they should adopt one thing i always say i don't know if you got the press release from yesterday i am a big believer of farmer centricity anyone who is thinking of push sales of their products to make some quick profits they are doing the disservice in my opinion everything has to be for the return on investment for the farmers roi of the farmers so the farmers please look for science based products which are giving you real results in the field if that is the case and your return on investment is better that is what will give you a sustainable future thank you so much to darshako aapne suna ye the hamare sath rojar tripathi ji global bio ag linkages ke global ceo jinhone vistar purvak aur bade hi acche tarike se jankari di ki kitna zaruri hai jo hamare bio products hain unko adopt karna aur unka bhavishya kya ho sakta hai kya kya zaruraten hain kisanon ko kis tarike se fayda pahuncha sakte hain aur kis tarike se ye organization ek puri global bio जो जो बायो एग्रीकल्चर कम्युनिटी है उसको जोड़ के रखती है अधिक जानकारी के लिए जुड़े रहिए फसल क्रांति के साथ और इसी तरह हम और भी अधिक जानकारी आप तक पहुंचाने का प्रयास करेंगे धन्यवाद